Hello and welcome to Avenging Past 7. Let's discuss Ahsoka Episode 5. Because I have so many thoughts. I've been talking to my dad. I've been talking to my brother. Uh, for those of you all that watch The Daily Show, Matthew, I've been talking with him. And I have so many thoughts. My first thought, let me try and, I can't capture pictures from Disney Plus, so I'm having to go around trying to find good pictures of the show that I want to, sh that I want to have in the video. Uh, my first thought is that this looks amazing. This is, just, I love, I love how that looks. I love how Anakin looks in this episode. I love how Ahsoka looks in this episode. I love the young Ahsoka. I thought that she did a good job. I think, well, I'll get to my criticism. I'm, I want to I want to stick to my praise. I think that she did a fantastic job. I think that she looked, you know, really good. I think that she looked great as Ahsoka. Um, I think that the, uh, is I think it's Leku. Uh, headpiece looked great. I mean, she looks like Ahsoka. I mean, not that I feel like it's that hard to pull that off, especially with the face markings. But I think that she, her emotion was there. Um, her emotion was there. Her, uh, the way that she looked was great. And, um, I mean, we got to see, let me try and get this. Looking just right. Um, we got to see live action Captain Rex. I mean, that's cool right there. We, I mean, she looks great. The show, I mean, Clone Wars Anakin looks great. I think that it was a good looking show. But a good looking show. Is a great experience. It is. It's a great experience for a good looking show. But then when you think about it. What did we get after out of this episode? And here's where I feel like I'm going to have some of my complaints. Criticisms. What did Ahsoka learn? What was the lesson? If, if if we're going by what it appears to be, by an easy appearance, it appears that Anakin was Anakin. Looks like he was Force Ghost Anakin. So far, that's what it looks like. So, And he says, I'm here to teach you your final lesson. Well, what was her final lesson? There's a bunch of different debates online right now about what that was, which... I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat what Matthew was it Matthew I think I told me said earlier. This is a episodic show. This was only the fifth episode. We got three more episodes to go, and it's not over yet. There is a chance for there to be more explanation in the future, better explanation in the future. There is a chance. The story's not over yet. We know that. However, as of right now, I'm going to call lazy writing. As of right now, I'm going to call lazy writing because I don't think that the lesson should have been up for debate. I don't think that the lesson should have been to be to be decided. Or um, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, to, to the viewer's discretion. I think that uh, it should have been clear about what her lesson was. And I think that it should have been clearer. I don't think that it was clear enough. Maybe I need to watch it again. 
maybe I was so overwhelmed by what I was seeing because the show was, the episode was beautiful, like amazing. And I, maybe I was so overwhelmed with what I was seeing that I didn't pick up on what was said. But I, I have my criticism. And I think what my biggest criticism is, is the world between worlds. If this episode came out before Rebel Season 5 with the way that Ezra entered the world between worlds and we got to understand some parts about that, if this happened first, I think that it would have been just fine. It would have been great. But we now understand some things about the world between worlds. There are doorways in there. The last time Ahsoka was in there, she was pulled by Ezra into there. It, it was not her choice to go in there, but it was someone else's choice that she got in there. Well, how did she get in there? How did she leave? She didn't enter through a doorway, as far as we, we have seen. We do not see how she entered. But when she left, she just kind of floated into the floor. Now you can say there are different ways that the world between world could appear, but technically this has already been defined in how we, our understanding of this world works. And now they're coming through and not following those preset rules of how we understand it works. And this is the first time the World Routine Worlds is being introduced to the live action viewership who refuse or have not seen the animated shows that pre explains it, which means they're probably even more lost than some of us are on what this place is. The other question, no, no, I did want to show this. Um, we don't, why was Anakin going back and forth between the light side and the dark side? The show's not over. It has not been fully explained yet. It could be explained more. But as of right now, if you're looking at the movies, if you're only looking at live action, we have only seen light side ghosts. Light side force ghosts. We have not seen a dark side force ghost. So we don't really know why he would be showing signs of the dark side. Now he is the chosen one. He's the balance between the two. But what does the balance mean and all that stuff? It's up for debate. I don't know. I like to think that balance in the force is equal sides light as equal sides dark. That's my favorite way. I say favorite. That's my preferred way of viewing the light side, and the dark side. I think that balance means balance. Same as on one side as the other. Not balance in the force means only the light side. I don't see how that's balanced at all. Another criticism. Let me get to the right spot. Just not not world breaking or anything really at all, but I did watch some Clone Wars last week, and this middle piece of her markings was not that big in Clone Wars. Just a crit just a criticism, <clears throat> <coughs> just for makeup department. It did not become that big or prominent. 
until, I believe, Rebels. Maybe even until live action. Just my criticism. Um, I loved watching the episode. But the more I think about the episode... the more I criticize it. And if they did things that don't make sense in the world just to justify her meeting Anakin, I will be upset about that. I will not like it if things were just things happened just to justify bringing in Hayden as Anakin. Just so the two of them can meet in live action. I think that that's not worth it. You can't just break the story just to have something happen. Write it in there. Think about it a little bit more. Take another few days on writing to make it work the way it should. As explained in your previous lore that's canon. Don't break canon just because... You wanted something to happen. I'm trying to find a specific picture. I think it was up here maybe. Yeah, right here. Let me try and zoom in a little bit more. I don't want to take away from what these people wrote. But I did not write it. And I don't want to take away their work. Now, a couple things I've been talking about. What was her lesson? Was her lesson that she has too many attachments to the past? Was it... You might have failed the clone troopers. You might have failed Anakin. You might have failed Sabine. But you don't have to become Darth Vader. Was it that you're too attached... To these other people... To become a Jedi... I think that it was just presented in a really bad way. Well, I won't say really bad way. In a very confusing way that requires a good explanation by the sh from, from inside the show. I think that it leads to great discussions. I think that it leads to great videos that you'll see probably hundreds of, just like this, just like mine. But that's... It's episodic. I have to keep reminding myself. It's episodic. It's not over yet. They could explain it. They could explain it more. So we'll have to see. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this episode. Watching this episode as much as me. I hope that you look forward to these discussion videos. hope that you looked forward to having these discussions just as much as I do. So please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Correct me. Criticize me. Add it all in there. I'm excited to see what y'all have to th say about this episode. Because there is a lot to talk about. There really is. There's a lot to talk about with this. So. Let's discuss. Ahsoka episode 5. Y'all have a fantastic day. And as always. May the force be with you.